Welcome, it's Gail here. In this video, I'll show you how to make a palm tree that you can use in future art projects, and we'll keep it more as clip art, and you can change the colors and change the outline any way you want to fit your future needs. So I have a Google page open up here. I'm going up to the Google Apps. I'm clicking on Google Drive. And I already have a folder called Trees right here. If you need to create a folder, all you do is click on the plus sign where it says New. And then the first one that pops up is Folder, just name it. Also, to go to Google Drawings, we're going to click on the plus and new sign right here and go all the way down to the bottom. You see Folder up there at the top, More. And then I'm going to choose Google Drawings over here. And what I recommend doing first is coming up and clicking on Untitled Drawing and titling your piece and then moving it over to that folder by coming down to move and finding the folder and selecting it and click move. If you need to change the size or format of this just to let you know go to file and go down to page setup and you can change it to all of these proportions right here or you can come down to custom and change it here and you can also change it from inches to centimeters, points, and pixels. I'm just going to keep my canvas like this for right now. The checkerboard pattern is your transparent background, which makes it really easy to select this drawing and add it to future drawings. I'm coming up to where the line tool is right here. I'm going to click on the toggle, which is the upside down triangle next to it, and coming down to the curve tool. And I'm just going to let you know when I'm clicking so you can kind of get used to the feel of this. So I'm clicking once, curve, click, click, click click and then I'm coming back inward click 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 and then I'm going to connect it back to the beginning line to create a shape and now that I have that selected if I want to get out of this tool I just come up to the select tool right here and then it selects that and I don't I'm not attached to that tool anymore if I click on this, I can get rid of that outline if I don't like it by going to border color and choosing transparent. I can also change the color of the trunk by clicking on the fill color over here and going to gradient, coming down to custom, and then I can change the stop colors here. I can also add more colors in between. So I'm going to select the square on the left side and I'm going to keep it on the lighter side. But I'm going to choose a light brown by going down to custom and I'm just going to kind of bring this in. I'm going to change the hue a little bit. I don't want it to be too red, so I'm going to bring it over to a little bit more on the orange side and kind of find a light color brown that I like, and I can keep it more on the gray side. I think I will for this one. I want to click OK. Then I'm going to come over to the one on the right, and I'm going to do the same thing by clicking on the toggle next to the select gradient color, coming down to custom, and then I'm going to change, I'm going to keep it a little bit more on the red side and then I'm just going to kind of come over here and find a color like that and click OK. And then I can see my variations over here and I like that. I'm going to click OK and now I have that selected. I'm going to click off of it for a second and you know I'm fine with that shape for right now but one thing I do want to do by clicking on it is just make it a little bit shorter so I can add the palm leaves and it also changed the shape so it's a little bit more vertical which is fine with me too. Now I'm going to click on the curve tool again and we're going to start the palm trees. We're going to keep it more straight um, for the bottom and then you're just going to come up so it's going to be like click, click, click inward, click down, click at the end and then just click, 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 click to finish the leaf. So here we go. I'm going to click on the curve tool right here and there's my click right there. Click inward, click down, straight and then I'm going to curve the leaf. Back to there. I'm going to do the same thing out here. And I'm going to do another one over here. Okay, and then I accidentally curved this down here, and it's not really bothering me, but if I want to get rid of that, I'll show you how to do that. Just Double click and oh, actually we need to get out of the shape. So I need to click on the arrow tool every time I want to get out of using the curve line tool. I'm going to double click inside and then I can just kind of move this around a little bit and match that up and I can do that to any of my leaves that I create. Now I'm going back to the curve tool and I'm going to add a couple more real quick. And 
And then I think I'll make one more coming up this way. And if you like that shape and that's the way you want to make your palm tree, that's fine. I'm actually going to click in here and I'm kind of following along this line. I'm, I'm going to send these shapes that I'm making right now to the back. So right now I'm just making the other part of the leaf. I'm going to do the same thing on this one over here. And up here a little bit. And then I'm going to do this one over here too. And now that I have all those finished, what I'm going to do is click on the arrow tool over here and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select the top portion that's on top right there on all of these leaves at once. So um, by holding down the shift key, it allows me to select more than one and I'm going to arrange and I'm going to send them all to the back so that my first shape is the one on top. Then I'm going to click on this one over here and I'm going to start to adjust my leaves just a little bit. And maybe I might make one of these a little shorter. Double click inside to get the points to show up and that way you can kind of move it around a little bit more and kind of get the shapes that you want. And I think I'm gonna pretty much, I just want to um, kind of work on these little corners down here. This one right here I think is the one I want. That one's tricky to get a hold of. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is select all of these. I'm going to change it all to green. So I'm holding down the shift key and I'm selecting all 10 shapes. And then I'm going to the paint tool, stain and gradient tools, and I'm just going to choose this green right here. It looks like I didn't get those two. So I'm holding down the shift. Oh, okay, that's okay there. I finally got them. And I'm going to change that to green right there. And then I can have fun and change this any way I want. I can change the colors. Um, for this one, I want the dark part to be in the center. So I'm going to select, I'm holding down the shift key and I'm selecting it for these two leaves right here. And I'm going to the gradient tool, going down to custom. And I'm just coming over here to change the angle to 270 and clicking OK. And now they all kind of get a little bit darker as they go in and they get lighter as they come out. Also, if I want, I can come back in and change these colors so that they show up a little bit more. So I'm just selecting the one on the outside here. And I'm just going to show this. Um, go down to custom right here. And then if I want, I can come up here and come down to custom and I can change this color to make it a little bit lighter if I want. Just to add a little bit more var variation right there. And so you can start to see the variation between these leaves. And then I might do this a couple more. And I'm just going to change it up a little bit. Just to, um, for each leaf to kind of have its own feel and to add a little bit more color. I could do the same thing to the bottom. And I'm going to choose this one over here. And let's click on this one on the left side and make that a little bit lighter there just to see what we have. So it kind of gives you an idea of how you can play around with this. And if these other green leaves are a little too much or maybe that's a little too faded, you know, maybe I can come back in and choose something like that. And then if I want to flip that, I just go back to custom again and then change that back to 90 degrees instead of 270 and there's the palm tree and if you want you could also add a little shading down here I'm just going to show you one more step if you want to add a shading so you can add it to another picture and that's holding down the shift key actually to select everything at once all you have to do is hold down the command or control key it's command on Apple it's control on other computers and then you're going to select the A key on the keyboard and that groups every or that selects everything at once. Then we can go up to arrange and go down to group. 
and then I can come up here to where it says format options. If you don't see format options, there might be three horizontal dots or three vertical dots. Click on those to find format options. Here's drop shadow. I'm going to select this one over here and I'm going to click this toggle so it goes downward and then I can change the color to any color I want. I'm going to keep it on the black side for right now. I'm just going to bring the distance out a little bit so it makes it look more like uh, construction paper that's been cut out. And then I can also blur it a little bit if I like. And there's my palm tree ready to be added to a picture in the future. And remember, you can change the colors any way you want. And you can distort it a little bit to fit your needs. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it works well for you. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.